Hi, this is Tim Krolski. You've gotten to know some of Garner's folks personally through my podcast. Now it's time for you to hear about the ever-changing things happening in the trucking industry. From regulations to technology to customers and the daily life of a trucker, it's time to hear from the folks on the road and the people off the road who provide support. What will your perspective be? Will you agree with the thoughts of others? Find out when you come with me on Garner Trucking's Beyond the Cab. Hello and welcome to another edition of Garner Trucking's Beyond the Cab. Today I am excited to have with me Mr. Brian Wildman. You're back for the second time on the show. I am good to be with you again. <laughs> when the first time wasn't enough, was it? <laughs> no, no. I, I'm still waiting for that first check to come through. Too. <laughs> it's in the mail. It's okay. in the mail. So, you know, today, uh, the first time that we, we met and sat down, we had uh, some great conversation, got to know you quite a bit on uh, your background and, and uh, how far you've come um, through the years and into trucking and get to know a little of your history and your likes and dislikes. Right. And uh, since that time, uh, we really have changed a lot of the format of the show and, and gotten a bit more topical about some things. And uh, for us currently, um, uh, for Garner Trucking currently, one of the big things that we're working on right now is camera installation in the trucks. Yes. And uh, that camera installation comes, you know, um, basically on the heels of a lot of uh, l- larger lawsuits that are happening out in the world. Not for us, thankfully, but uh, it's just a you know skyrocketing litigation that's happening in the world. Right. Claims costs, insurance premiums, all of these things. Right. And we don't have any way to, to protect our drivers you know, in those types of situations because it becomes a he said, she said out on the road when you get into an incident or there's a problem. Uh, of course, trucking is always a big target. Uh, you know, there's always dollar signs next to an individual yes. that might be targeting uh, targeting a, a trucking company to, to make a little money. Um, there is a, a massive um, set of court cases that's happening down in Louisiana. There's a ring down there of uh, individuals that were targeting trucking and and uh, now they're getting found out about it, and, you know, and that's that's great. But uh, to help protect our protect ourselves and protect our drivers, we feel this is the necessary choice. Um, but of course, it comes with a little pain and suffering too, right? That's right. Um, I think you know, from the driver's perspective, uh, that that uh, maybe that sense that you know my privacy isn't there. Um, you know, and at the end of the day, it's a workspace as far as the the behind the wheel. Um, and, and, and the, 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 whatever's happening as far as the bunk and sleep time and break time and all those types of things, that's not worth even talking about or looking at. So we've done some things to position cameras in a way uh, in the cab so that all we're seeing is the driver while they're in the driver's seat. There's nothing in the background. And, in right. fact, we positioned it um, to, uh, um, to be as private as possible inside the cab. Uh, we've also put, uh, obviously, an exterior camera but then two more cameras down the side of the trailer so we can get um, a full 360 degree explanation of what happened in the event of. Right, right. So I, I don't want to flavor this conversation too much, Brian, but um, your your thoughts, uh, you know, cameras in the trucks, what, what, what do you think? Okay, so the camera, just to kind of get my, uh, my visual here on where the cameras actually are, they're my understanding is they are on the bottom of the mirrors uh, facing out uh, forward facing and then rear facing for the outside for the exterior cameras so um, the way it w- the way it works is there's four cameras you've got one that's facing forward it's mar- it's in the windshield okay you've got another one that's actually above the driver facing down so okay. that we can see from from a driving position okay. what's going on and then the camera mounted or the, I'm sorry the mirror mounted cameras are the ones that are facing backwards towards okay. the trailer so right. that we can see what's happening on either side of the vehicle okay okay so that's really kind of the perspective we're coming from and we've got about uh, I don't know almost half the fleet it has been installed at this okay. point so you're not one of them no. um, but that you know that's an inevitability at this point right so what, what are your thoughts well cameras are you know it, it it's protection, as you were saying, uh, for the nuclear verdicts that we're seeing out there now. It's protection for the company. It's protection for the driver. Uh, once I, I had to, I, like everybody else, I was processing, what does this mean? You know, <laughs> we've got a, 
you know, it's, it's one thing for me to put a device in my home and ask it to turn on lights and things like that and then answer the front answer door, the, answer yeah, the yeah. front door and and tell me you know what uh, what it you know wants to tell me and and then there's always that is somebody listening in mm-hmm. is you know is is this going back to big brother and there are they listening so that it, when i went through the training and and saw and and heard and, and looked at the videos and the videos are excellent that are, are put out um, of course, every, that's kind of a, a thirty thousand foot view, per se. Yeah. And yeah. then you, then we talk about what Garner, how Garner is implementing it, and it is a very, um, I think it's a it's a positive thing. It can be, um, it's going to require the driver to, uh, you know, to uh, rethink their. Uh, how they approach their job mm-hmm. okay and uh, by that I mean that you know the, the concerns that I've heard and that I had personally and, and that other drivers I've, I've heard from have said well it's the microphone you know the microphone are, are is somebody going to be listening is this going to be recording audio the whole time right well and that's to me I, we were talking about this before we got right. started today that is the weirdest part of that for me. Out of all the things that I would be right. concerned with, the microphone is the least <laughs> right. of, of that concern. Right. But, but understanding that uh, you know a driver may be um, uh, on a headset, you know, having conversation, personal conversation, we don't want to get involved with any of that right. sort of thing. So one of the nice pieces with the the camera system is it takes an event. It has to have something to trigger it. Okay, and it can be driver triggered. Um, and I, I have a story for you I'll share with you in a okay. little bit on the driver triggering side of things. But um, just from the, um, from the day-to-day and, and being able to peek in or listen in, the, this is not a capability that we want, need, have, desire. Okay. So you, you can know. kind of allay the fears of the Yeah, driver. you can just lay that to rest. What it, what it boils down to is you spike on the brakes. What happened? What caused that spike? Right. So then it's going to take a look back at t- to the, the, the 10 seconds prior to that brake spike and 10 seconds afterwards to get an idea of what took place audio here. and video audio and video yeah right. it, it'll record all of it um and uh that will give that will give anyone a great perspective on what happened in that situation yes so um you know case in point um i there's another driver that, that does have cameras in the trucks i know that that particular driver was apprehensive um, to the point of being vocal about okay. having them in the truck. And I completely respect that. Uh, at the end of the day, here within the last two weeks, this particular driver has now hit the green button, which signals to turn the cameras on for that 10 seconds before and 10 sec- seconds after, because right. the driver has control too. And he has taken some excellent video of things that are happening out on the road, not that he's causing, but are, that are happening to him. Right. And in the event of an accident or an incident, um, you know, in this in this this particular case, uh, the the last video that I saw, um, there was uh, some conflict between him and another truck. Not a conflict, but I'm not sure if the other driver might have been dozing or right. there was something going on there. Maybe a, a lane departure. Yeah, yeah a little or lane, lane. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what it was. And um, a little bit of pucker factor sets so in with right. that. But the fact that that driver again was so anti about it, but now has taken the time to really. Uh, um, embrace the fact that this technology is available to use yes. and it and it's meant to do exactly that it's meant to exonerate our driver from that those types of issues so if that right. would have resulted in an accident now we have video footage that says clearly our driver was not in the wrong it wasn't right. wasn't our driver's fault now i love that about that situation. Ab- absolutely and 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 two we don't want to major in the minors i'm sure the company you know we're all doing our job we're all you know, press to do get everything done that we need to get done. And the last thing I think anybody wants to do is 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 you know get get off in the weeds about you know somebody's private private conversations exactly or all right. of that. I mean, yeah, it's we just have it's no all interest. about there's just no interest there. It's it's all about really making sure that the protection, the protection for the company, the protection of the driver, and that you know it it makes me actually think that I will drive better and be more on my game. 
um, with a camera there. I think at at at, at first, probably t- uh, once it's in there and once I get used to it, it's probably going to be like anything else. It's just you know, it's there and you're not as aware. Of yeah, it. I, yeah. I, I, think I think there's kind time. of a little bit of you know of, of nuance of, of it being new and and just of uh, kind of adapting to you know oh my gosh what do I do you know what do I what do I, how do I look do I say what do I, you know it's like uh, first time we <laughs> were okay, yes I'm up dressed for properly for this camera uh, but no uh, it, it really is a, it, a it's it's just a vital tool anymore with a litigious society we have just to to protect to to really protect the driver. Are you familiar with um, uh, Bison Transport? Yes. You've seen those trucks? Yes. They're a very large company, actually based out of Canada, but they have an American presence as well. Um, great, um, great individuals. Actually, know a few of their their top brass um, somewhat mm. well, right. and um, learned a lot from that particular organization. One of the things that I found was interesting here recently, just kind of taking a look, you know, before we make the decision to put cameras in the trucks. There's a lot of research and a lot of time that we put into this particular venture. Um, And obviously there's a cost factor there too, so we want to make sure we get the bang for the buck, right? Right. Um, But I thought it was interesting that Bison Transport had reported a 67% reduction in fatigue driving after they installed cameras. Um, 40% reduction in distracted driving, which, uh, you know, it's it's an ongoing thing, I'm certain, out there. And 97% reduction in cell phone use. That's amazing. That That's really a big is. number. That's huge. Yep. Yeah. So, you know, it's those be- behaviors and mannerisms. And our, our, our safety manager, um, I think she's done a tremendous job with this, this one piece of all of this. And she's done an incredible amount of work yes. uh, to, to, you know, to get us to the point where we're, getting, we're able to install cameras and right. understand what those impacts will be and how to use that tool and how to educate our drivers. But the one thing I really love about this is in every job that you do, in every single job you do, your your goal is to get better at what you're doing. Right. Better today, better than you were yesterday, and better tomorrow That's than right. you were today. And I think that this really provides some of that uh, that ability for a driver that maybe um, over time has become complacent. It it it, it does. I, I I think it it really does help you up your game. It it does. Uh, allow for uh you to to really think about what you're doing to to be present in in the moment you know i've what i've done now is i've uh put away a lot of the distractions i had and and we all have them you know i the phone calls things like that i'm really minimizing it i'm actually just concentrating on and i've been doing this for several months now just really concentrating on the road and not in other distractions things you know, we have the XM, XM radio, and that's great. And you can sing along, you can listen to whatever you want to do, and that's fine. And that's and it's actually very, uh, it's very helpful. And it, it's, uh, you know, on the long hours that we do this job, that's that's uh, that's good to have. Um, but I think you're right that that camera is going to, what uh, is going to uh, really bring bring your your A game in, uh, allow you to bring it in. One of the things that I was concerned or heard other drivers uh, talk about was, you know, when the, the lights, the lights on the cameras, the, 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 the blue, the green, whatever the, the, the color indication is, that they're different indicators, different colors based on indication. And it was just kind of getting used probably to seeing that blink, that green light come on. As much as a lane departure system. Right. You know. Um, right. Right. Uh, you know, there's there's so many tools in the truck today versus what there were 10, 15, 20 years True. ago. Um, and uh, not, I'm not saying all of them are loved and embraced by <laughs> by drivers <laughs> everywhere. Um, and, you know, but, but those tools are in place, again, to kind of raise the game out there on the yes. road. Um, one of the things that we fight as an industry always, always is image. Yes. You know, I've said a thousand times, you can pass a hundred truck drivers. The one you'll remember is the one that ends up cutting you off or doing right. something. That's the part of that image thing. It's not right. that the other hundred were bad drivers. It's that the one driver sticks out among the, among the others. And I think what we're able to do with um, with providing um, that accountability for our for our, ourselves to be able to say, okay, we're compliant. We've done what we're supposed to. It's this right. other individual that that caused this situation. Right. I, I I think that raises our game as well. I think I, that I agree. I think that puts uh, um, safety first, and it puts the driver first. Quite frankly, yes. 
You know, how, how many times um, during the course of, uh, of a year will we receive a phone call um, from um, an upset four-wheeler that's getting on the highway, mer- you know, merging in, and our driver wouldn't get over? Right. Um, if, if they should cause an event or the driver decides to hit the little green button, now we can very plainly see that, okay, this is what happened in this situation. I'm, right. you know, ma'am or sir, I'm looking at the video right now. Yes. And I can tell you that our driver did nothing wrong. He was, he or she was blocked on the, on the left-hand side. There was nowhere for that driver to go and um, kind of give even some public exoneration, even though it's not, um, you know, of the, <laughs> you know, litigious type, right. um, you know, it still gives that opportunity to, is that a real-time situation? In other words, what you've described uh, is the person calling in, you know, that... Uh, it can be. It could be a real-time yeah. where they could actually... Yeah, they could say, I'm following right behind your driver, right. you know, I'm right, trailer, I'm, blah, blah, blah. You know. I'm, I'm, re- I'm right here. And, mm-hmm. yeah. and they cut me off and, you know, and, and that's not to say that, you know, there aren't um, bad decisions out on the road, that right. sort of things. But I will tell you the frequency of those calls are um, probably more than any other. Right. And um, at the end of the day, you know, a driver doesn't have to move over. It's your right. job to merge as you're coming on the highway. When, wouldn't you? It's s- a courtesy, right? Would you say that? Uh, and, and of course, there, there are best practices when it comes to driving. Um, we go through that in training, and then when you get on the road, you kind of become your own. You you talk to other drivers. Mm-hmm. You share you share stories. You share best practices, really, and right. like anything else, and. Uh, so following too closely, I know, is probably one that I personally deal with a lot. Uh, yeah. The Rochester to Buffalo uh, is, is wall-to-wall. During, yeah. I mean, it is just right on. And, and as, as we are governed, you know, there on our speeds, um, mm-hmm. you're going to find yourself doing 62 or 63 because you're not going to get over in that can't, left yeah, lane. You, can't you just get can't out do there. it. Yeah. So um, it, it really forces your hand to make the right call, the Probably, I mean, you know, we're all sometimes we're pressed for time, and boy, if that that they would just go a little faster, kind of get down the, <laughs> you know, it, it happens every day, right? Um, hours and in, into the day, but you have to make that call, you know, just I, I'm just going to tuck it in now, and I'm going to, you know, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to get a, get where I, it's uh, that classic thing too, where <laughs> you hear, you know, you. You see these people fly down, and then you end up, and you're right there at the light with them. Yeah, you're right right next to them. It's (laughs) like, what did you really accomplish? Right. Well, I think think as well, there are, we'll we'll all come to find out as a fleet, there is a um, a set of grading that happens with the camera system. Yes. And it allows us to share teaching moments and again you know kind of getting back to that making your make your make yourself better tomorrow than you were today yes. type of mentality and, and and being a better driver out on the road um the, that those tools will actually give you an opportunity to be able to see okay well this is an area i can improve and this is something i can change and and develop and grow you become more cognizant you know kind of like those statistics i shared with bison right. you know those things that's a that's a that's an effort at that point. That that raising that visibility and getting people to understand that, okay, this is a good behavior or this is a bad behavior behind the wheel. Right. So, I think that you know that raises the game for all of us here. I, I agree. You know, and and for the trucking industry, and I I, I like that about this particular situation. Um, and again, you know, rolling back to the privacy issues you had brought up to the, the microphones, I think that's the big hang up. I, I okay. think most drivers understand that cameras are probably a pretty good deal. You know, if they're right. facing out and they're facing around, it's, it's, it's the one in the cab, the one facing the driver. Uh, and so, you know, just to kind of circle back, we tried to position this thing. And believe me, we spent half a day trying to find the right, right. angle so that we weren't being intrusive to that driver and uh, um, giving the privacy that they deserve when they're not behind the wheel. Right. So um, any other comments or thoughts? What what are you hearing out on the road from from drivers at this point? I'm hearing that, you know, those that are training out there are going about their business of training. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, the cameras are are there, and uh, but the, the task at hand is bringing on a new driver and, 
really getting them to the point you know, as they come in with Garner that this is kind of the Garner way we do we do things. And every trainer is a little different, but there are still those principles. So I think the camera is, uh, that would be a, a great and useful tool, as you had talked about in training in general. And then also for a new driver, you know, to be able to see, oh, yeah, it's the non-fatal learning experiences that, that come. You know, we just had this week in Fort Worth where I used to live, uh, North Fort Worth off 35, and the ice, when that comes through yeah. there, you know, I always, like, always sweated it going to work down there. But here comes the ice, you know, and uh, unfortunately, you know, I think if five or six people lost their lives there. But it was just, it's one of those things where um, those cameras are going to be looked at, you know, and they're going to be... Uh, they're going to uh, try to assess as they go through and put together what happened. You know, they're going to look right. at they're going to look at the ones that the, the the highway department has that are in the air. They're they're going to take a look at that first, probably because that's going to give, give the big picture. And um, then they could go down to all the way down to the the individual level. I have a personal camera in my. I when I started driving, I put, put one this in. is the second one I have. It's a real tiny little thing and. Yeah. Uh, I just I felt safer having that. So for me, um, having all of these angles now and having it front facing, back facing, I always kind of like it was blue sky. Wouldn't it be great to have one yeah. back on the train? And, yep. and now here we are. So well, I think my my wife's vehicle. She um, um, got a newer vehicle here just a couple right. of years ago, and uh, I actually was having a conversation with our owner Sherry about this particular thing. It's like. All right, now when I back up, it not only shows what's going on behind me, but it gives me a an entire overview from above the vehicle. Oh, oh that's... how is it doing that? <laughs> 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 so I mean, the technology's there, and you know, it's 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 that okay. We've got. Let's pretend for a moment that we didn't put in the camera in the cab. Right. Um, so now I've got perspective from out in front of the truck. Right. I've got perspective on either side of the truck. And depending on what's happened in the incident, you're missing a piece of information, right? right? You don't know what happened with that driver. Right. You know, was it a situation where there was a, a, a swerve? Did we take our eyes or our hands off the road, you know, or off the wheel? Um, you know, any, any number of things could go on. You need to have that information right. if you're going to exonerate Exactly. Somebody. And that's there's nothing like a visual. I mean, you can have all of the... Um, information coming through the truck itself mm -hmm. with the technology in the truck that's that's monitoring you know the the instability right. or the, the certain move the curve uh, the the heavy brake hard braking yep. all of that you can have all of that but if you don't have that corresponding visual piece that that shows really what's going you, on you don't have, you, the, whole you don't picture. have the whole picture you don't that's absolutely right that's absolutely right well, Brian, I want to say thank you again for, you know, indulging me a second time to, to sit down and talk about a, a topic that I think is top of mind for a lot of our fleet right now. It really and is. Hopefully we're setting a few things to uh, to, to bed, and um, certainly we want to continue to have those discussions because it is a two-way street when it comes to this sort of thing. Uh, and that privacy we take very seriously here. So Glad but, to help, Tim. Thank you. I'd like to thank everyone for listening today to another edition of Garner Trucking's Beyond the Cab. <laughs>